What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Diamond Studios Podcast. This is where three friends get together to talk about music, business, and the balance of both with life. I'm your host, Nathan Collins. As always, we are joined by the one and only Kevin Beggs. Hello. Jonathan Boucher. And today, we're going to talk about the importance of mixing and mastering. Part one. Let's do this. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Well, hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, you're probably noticing that I'm wearing probably the coolest shirt that you've ever probably seen, ever probably, maybe. So good. Um, you can get this at our website, diamondstudiosled.com. Dot com. Or just in the link. Yeah, just in the link. This d- description. But if you're driving, you need to pull out your phone and not text and drive. Pull over right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Mixing and mastering. This is so important. It is. It is. And this is only part one. This is only part one. All right. So today, we're going to talk about, you need it, okay? All right? But we're going to talk about the difference of mixing, and then we're going to dissect what is mixing, and then we're going to dissect what is mastering. That's that's today's episode. So um, I know a lot of clients that we work with have no idea what mixing and mastering is. Um, yeah, it's not their fault. You know, music industry isn't like flooded in Tekoa. So, no. Um, as far as like education wise, there's yeah. plenty of musicians and artists, but you know, there's really no outlet for them to understand what it is. So, but it, it's kind of concerning the amount of musicians that don't know what it is or don't um, care <laughs> or don't care, which is even worse. Yeah. Um, but we'll, we're going to get into that in the next one. Because that's mm, bad. (laughs) That's bad. Um, Mixing. So the difference between the two. Mixing is the balance of all of the individual tracks within a project. Um, Mastering is the bigger picture. So it's the overall track itself. Not individually. But the overall project file. That's the difference. Yeah, but each one is just as crucial as the other. This is a debate that happens all the time <laughs> of which one is more important. Um so, mixing your song is important because um well, you don't want to sound like crap. <laughs> um and I'm g- I'm going to say that exact same line probably in the next two episodes. Yeah. Um Mixing mixing is the thing that blends your song together. Yeah. It makes your your kick and your bass get along. Or your vocals and your super MIDI guitar get along. Yeah. Um why why would you say mixing is important? Well, um you don't want your song to sound like a piece of crap. Mm. <laughs> Man. Yeah. I'm gonna keep saying that. Um, it does create a balance within the other, within all of the tracks. Um, it makes your music sound professional. It makes you sound like you know what you're doing. It makes you sound like you care. Yeah. We'll get more into that in the next episode, mm-hmm. but that's mixing, mixing and mastering are both equally important in that way. Yeah. I would say, however, though, it, sometimes you can get a good enough mix where you might not need the master, but it's still safe to at least go through with it and make sure that even the littlest details are handled. Um, whether it be like carving out small frequencies, m- small movements essentially yeah. within the frequency spectrum. Yeah. Um, but they're both, they're both important to me personally. Like all my personal music, I mixing and mastering is like a must. Yeah. Um, mixing. Yeah. Mixing is the state where you, you're going to take care of all the problematic frequencies. Um, however, sometimes whenever you fix the problematic frequencies, I hope I explain this good. This is a weird thing to just verbally yeah. preach. Whenever you have problematic frequencies and you fix those, sometimes it causes things to happen in your overall project that you have to take care of in mastering. Um, it's almost like, okay, hear me out. I'm, I'm working on a metaphor. So, like, you have a waterbed. Yeah. You sit in the waterbed. 
it will move the other side up. Mm -hmm. But if you have, I, that's the best way I can describe it. It's almost like you're putting things on a waterbed to like <laughs> level fly. it out. Yes. That's like the weirdest way. But like my brain. That's a better way to explain compression. If yeah, it's like mixing true. is like uh, you're making a stew, you're making some sort of food. Mm -hmm. And uh, mixing is like putting all your ingredients in the pot um, and stirring it up. I don't know, maybe. And then ma or maybe mastering is like stirring it up, cooking it, letting him cook. <laughs> let him cook. <laughs> so let us let us cook, so that your song can be better. That's a good one. Let us cook. like the mixing. That's all of your ingredients. Yeah, and then the mastering would be like the thing that you eat. Yeah, delicious. It's like the spice that you add to. Yeah, yeah. I see that. So the mixing is the balancing of of all of your individual tracks, and it is crucial. Yeah, it's crucial to a good sound. Um, mastering, um. Mastering is important because you want mastering enhances the overall sound of your track, um, not individual tracks, but your overall sound mm -hmm. of a project. Mastering is also, in my opinion, mastering is more important whenever you're looking at the bigger picture. Yeah. Whenever you're looking at an album, you don't want one song to be mastered differently than another. You can do like 40 billion different mixing techniques through your album. But as long as your mastering is at the same level, yeah. that is, it's very important or at least close to the same level. Um, it's important if you're, if you're worried about consistency, yeah, which I'm one of those that I am. Um, and the thing about mastering is you also have to have a good mix to have a good master. Yeah. Your master will never fix your mix. No. No, <laughs> ever, ever. Um, and if you hear something while you're mastering that you know it's the mix, don't try to fix it in the master. No. Go Just back, go back and start over. Yeah, fix it in the mix and then come back and start your mastering over. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's so important. Yeah, mastering is the blueprint of your song. And I would say, especially if you're um just getting into like creating and recording yourself a lot of times. Like if you're doing it yourself, especially I would almost, I would say 90 to 80% of the time I would recommend sending your song to someone else for a while until you know what you're doing more or less. If you want a good product now you can do it yourself and fight through that. It's a great learning process. And I mean, that's what I've done. That's what Nathan's done. It's a fun time. Um, but, I would almost recommend that most of the time to send it to someone else because they're going to have a better um, reference than you will. Because you're not going to, if you're learning how to mix and you're hearing all these frequencies just over the top of each other for hours and hours and hours, <laughs> someone else is going to hear more of the mistakes in there than you will. Yeah, I would not mix in the same sitting. No. Um, I wouldn't master in the same setting either. No. Or sitting. Of a mix, mm -hmm. I would definitely give myself two or three hours of rest. Um, don't listen to music or anything like that. Just give your ears rest, or listen to like clean your palate music. <laughs> hmm. So rain, rain, <laughs> rain. rain. <laughs> um, you know, I mean that works for me. Yeah, you know, it might might be different for someone else. Chocolate. Um, what? What? <laughs> what? I was having a moment. <laughs> Your mic. <laughs> it's the ghetto version of how to talk into a mic. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I did not hit high. I did not. Oh no. Ah, uh, anyway. Okay, get your stuff mixed and mastered. Yeah. Um. I know that was like a such a roundabout episode, um, but mixing is extremely crucial to um, the balance of your tracks within a song. It's a very important. Um, mastering is important for the balance of your overall project, whether it's a single, an EP, an LP, or an album. 
no matter what it is. It, it, mastering is important for the overall balance. Um, you want it to sound like all the big dogs on the radio? Get it mastered. Get it. Yep. But get it mixed first. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, have... Everyone's going to have theirs mixed. <laughs> I, there's, we, there's people that think they don't need a master, hey, and the other way around. Yeah, there's other people the other way around. There's people that think they only need a master, and so they send over like this crap, and like all you hear is like, and like little dainty voices in the background. And they're like, "Yeah, can you take the muddiness out?" <laughs> hey, can you just make my vocals? <laughs> you crisp? want me to so mute your song? <laughs> Yeah, I'll just send you a three-minute muted file, <laughs> and just take a <laughs> take a low-pass filter and just like <laughs> the whole thing, the whole thing, the whole thing, <laughs> everything but like ten <laughs> k and up. Yeah, yeah, That's high-pass true. filter, my bad. Dumb. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, all right, <laughs> short and sweet, but the next one's gonna be fun and short and sweet, fun and dumb. <laughs> <laughs> It's not dumb. I promise. No. It's not. Okay. What have we been listening to? Um. Well, I guess I guess I'll go. I'll go first. I'll go first. Go first. Well, guys. Um. Holy cow! What's today? Holy smokes. Um. I have been diving into um. Just some rap. Um. Well, for one, I want to understand some more of the direction of rap right yeah. now. Um, I'm just going to be honest with you. It's hard to understand because you require zero talent. You go to beat stars, you buy a beat, you buy a fake preset <laughs> off of the internet. You plug it into garage band, you get a crappy mic and then you can literally sound like, um, a seagull <laughs> in person. But once you're done, you can end up sounding like, you know, Kid Leroy. Yeah. You know, but, you know, so I have, I lack respect um, as far as talent goes there because most of them don't play any instruments. They know nothing about vocal care. They know nothing about like, you know, the things that we strive for. Yeah. You know, in our, mm. what we do. Ah. But, um, ah. But anyway, I'm trying. I'm trying to understand more so of, um, you know what, what goes into it, what makes it, you know, so attractive to the upcoming generations. Yeah. Um. So far, the only thing I've been able to catch is the beats. It's turned more into a diss than anything. But I just, I'm trying to understand it a little bit more, and um, yeah. But you know, I'll balance it out. With some, uh, like, I just listened to uh, Ian Dior's new album. Um, and it's really funny to hear uh, Ian Dior's new album. It, immediately when I heard it, I said out loud, I was like, if this came out two years ago, it would have been a hit. Yeah. Because the style that he, he made on that album is, like, phasing out already. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'm trying to calculate this stuff see what kind of beats i need to produce see what see what kind of cells uh we need to focus on and, and that kind of stuff yeah so i guess ian dior is the only specific him uh g easy i just listened to his new project um there's a lot of rap i've listened to too much <laughs> too much too much <laughs> okay what have y'all been listening to uh recently i've been listening to this group called horsey 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 um, their their official genre that they call it is apocalyptic jazz, and I like it. It's really yeah. nice. It's very like, like it. bossa nova feel with like blaring guitars, and their music videos are very strange. I don't recommend it, but <laughs> if you're into that, go look them up. Um, they're a UK band, <laughs> butt and <cheeks. laughs> yeah, butt cheeks. <laughs> but yeah, horsey, a apocalyptic jazz. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mentioned this last week, but Kevin and I, a while back now, we went to the Wilco <laughs> concert. Um, the, the band that opened for them was called the A's. It's more like the a duo. A's. They kind of have like a, 
Western the acapella. A's? The yodel, yodeling. That's like vibe. a big thing with them. Yodeling. Not like your acapella. Some yeah. like odd percussion. Yeah. Um, it's pretty cool. And their album Fruit. Been listening to that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Good album. I wonder if we can throw a, a show on Big A. <laughs> and have the A's. <laughs> the have A's on Big A. That'd be dope. That'd, That'd be, be fun. Dope. Huh. You heard it here first. The A's on Big A. <laughs> it's coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> what if we make it happen? That would be incredible. All right. Let's get out of here. Oh, hey, but hey, hey. Um, I, I know you've been staring at my shirt. And you're jealous of it. It's beautiful. But you can go get one. You can have as one. Well. So go get one. LID Diamond Studios. Wait. Time Diamond out. Studios LID. Diamond Studios LID. Dot com. com. Go get one. They're amazing. They're comfy. We also have mugs. We have. Not this mug. Hats. <laughs> uh, fanny packs. Rain jackets. Dang. We got a lot. We got it all. Got it all. We got it all. Okay. Go get some. Go get a bag of coffee from Living Room Coffee Roasters. Yeah. Do that. GeorgiaCoffeeRoasters.com. Use code Diamond Studios to get 10% off yep. your order. Great. All right. Jonathan, you got a song? All right. Yeah. This song is about mixing and mastering. Oh. Mm. Let us cook. Let us cook. Let us cook so your songs sound good. This This has been the podcast. (laughs) This has been the podcast.